Repeatability Repeatability was introduced in animal breeding by J. L. Lush in 1937. J. L. Lush 1937. Ten years back independence. Like ten years before 1947 of India. So these are some points you can just post my video and you can watch it. But I'm not gonna explain it because it is self-explanatory. I'll directly go to the definition. You still you can still have a look on it. You can just post my video and have a look on the notes. I'll directly jump to the definition. This is the definition. See definition. Repeatability is defined as the correlation between measurements on the same animal for traits which are measured more than once. How I remember this is like uh, try to remember the word correlation here. This is a pictorial representation, but it has nothing to do with the definition. Just to remember, I made this. Two measurements are there on the same animal. So let me add this to the definition. Correlation between two measurements on the same animal for traits which are measured more than once. For traits which are measured more than once, like milk production. It is represented by it is represented by R R and it does not have any unit and it ranges from 0 to 1 it doesn't have any unit and remember that even heritability doesn't have any unit and it ranges from 0 to 1 and even heritability ranges from 0 to 1 and this are some points you can just skip it or I'll just read it out for you but if it comes in the exam, you know you don't need have to write it. You just uh, just keep it. Just keep these things in your mind. If all the difference between animals are caused by genetic and permanent environment effect, then repeatability equals one. If all the difference caused by temporary environmental effects, then repeatability equals zero. Repeatability repeatability values are classified as low repeatability less than 0 0.2 moderate repeatability 0 0.2 to 0 0.4 high repeatability more than 0 0.4 the basis of concept of repeatability phenotypic value of an individual for a quantitative trait can be represented as p equal to g plus e here genotypic p, g equal to genotypic value Genotypic value possessed by an individual is determined at the time of fertilization and does not change during the lifetime of an individual. The environmental effect which affect which influence the performance of the trait consists of two components with permanent environmental effect and temporary environmental effect. The permanent environmental effects are this persists like permanent environmental effect the environmental effect which persists with the animal throughout its lifetime are known as permanent environmental effect but these are not transmitted to progeny unlike the genes example other damage due to mastitis uh, if the animal suffering in the animal suffering from mastitis others are damaged usually and a severe a severe mastitis may damage the teeth of a he heifer permanent effect and might decrease her milk production Calf food nutrition is another example example for permanent environmental effects. Early nutrition of the dairy calf is known to have permanent effect on mammary gland development and of course on the every every like growth rate and many other aspects. Calf food nutrition includes the colostrum because if colostrum is not given within time then the nutrition I mean the Passive immunity, they won't get the immunity, passive immunity from the colostrum. And the next and the next permanent environmental effect is the training of young horses. It has permanent impact on the racing ability. Then the next, what is temporary environmental effects? These environmental effects do not influence the performance of an animal throughout their lifetime. 
थ्रू आउट लाइफ टाइम में नहीं होता है इट्स लाइक दे आर टेम्परेरी इफेक्टर्स एग्जाम्पल सर फॉर द लाइक फॉर द सप्लाई टू अ काउ इफ इट डिक्रीसेस इफ द ग्रीन फॉर द सप्लाई टू अ काउ इफ इट डिक्रीसेस इट डिक्रीसेस द मिल किल्ड बट वेन द काउ इज प्रोवाइडेड विद बेटर फॉर द इन सब्सिक्वेंट लेक्टेशन मिल किल्ड इनक्रीसेस डे फॉर क्वान्टिटी एंड क्वालिटी ऑफ फॉर द डेट मे वेरी फ्रॉम वन लेक्टेशन टू द अदर वुड बी क्लासीफाइड एज टेम्परेरी एनवायरमेंटल इफेक्ट्स डे फॉर एन परमानेंट लाइक एनवायरमेंटल इफेक्ट इक्वल टू परमानेंट एनवायरमेंटल इफेक्ट प्लस टेम्पररी एनवायरमेंटल इफेक्ट सो नाउ वी विल गो टू द फॉर्मुलेशन लाइक हाउ आर वी गन फॉर्मुलेट सो रिपीटेबिलिटी सॉरी रिपीटेबिलिटी इज द रेशियो ऑफ जेनेटिक वेरियंस एंड परमानेंट एनवायरमेंटल वेरियंस टू द टोटल फेनोटाइपिक वेरियंस ऑफ द थ्रेट सिंपली रिमेंबर दिस रिपीटेबिलिटी डिनोटेड बाई स्मॉल आर इक्वल टू वी जी प्लस वी ई पी दिस इज द परमानेंट एनवायरमेंटल इफेक्ट वी पी फेनोटेपिक वेरियंस दिस कैन ऑल्सो बी रिटर्न एस सिगमा स्क्वेयर जी सिगमा स्क्वेयर ई पी एंड सो ऑन हियर वन इम्पोर्टेंट पॉइंट इज रिटर्न रिपीटेबिलिटी इज द अपर लिमिट ऑफ द हेरिटेबिलिटी लेट एस सी हाउ इज इट सी दिस इज द ब्रोथ सेंस हेरिटेबिलिटी ब्रोथ सेंस हेरिटेबिलिटी इज बिगर इज लार्जर दैन नेरो सेंस हेरिटेबिलिटी सो वी विल कंपेयर द ब्रोथ सेंस हेरिटेबिलिटी विद द रिपीटेबिलिटी ब्रोथ सेंस हेरिटेबिलिटी इक्वल टू वी जी बाई वी पी और सिगमा स्क्वेयर जी बाई सिगमा स्क्वेयर पी वाइल रिपीटेबिलिटी सिगमा स्क्वेयर पी इज इन द डिनोमिनेटर सी द डिनोमिनेटर दे आर सेम बट द न्यूमिनेटर देर इज एन एडिशन ऑफ एन एन एक्स्ट्रा इफेक्ट दैट इज एनवायरमेंटल इफेक्ट एंड परमानेंट एनवायरमेंटल इफेक्ट और वेरियंस सो इट प्रूव दैट रिपीटेबिलिटी सेट्स एन अपर लिमिट टू द हेरिटेबिलिटी सो सम सेलियंट फीचर्स दैट आई रोथ हियर आर रिपीटेबिलिटी एंड हेरिटेबिलिटी आर पॉपुलेशन पैरामीटर वी नो दैट राइट वी आर सेटिंग द पॉपुलेशन जेनेटिक्स ऑब्वियसली रिपीटेबिलिटी एंड हेरिटेबिलिटी आर नॉट फिक्सड रिप्रोडक्टिव ट्रेड्स हैव लो लो रिपीटेबिलिटी जस्ट लाइक द हेरिटेबिलिटी मिल्क फैट परसेंटेज रिपीटेबिलिटी इज हाई Let us come to the usefulness of the repeatability. The first point is repeatability and culling. Make sure that you do not forget, like you do not get confused with the usefulness of heritability and repeatability. So, I would suggest you to mark some points like this or anything of your convenience to remember during exams. Repeatability and culling. Repeatability of a trait can be useful in making culling decisions. how see for example on the basis of performance of first lactation poor producing animals can be culled repeatability if you know the repeatability like you can cull the animal for economic purpose obviously repeatability and approximation of heritability just few minutes back we discussed that repeatability sets an upper limit to the heritability so often heritability are difficult to estimate heritability values are often often difficult to estimate so and repeatability repeatability values easier so when whenever heritability of a character is not known we can guess the probable value of heritability from the estimate of repeatability estimation of most probable producing ability mppa what is mppa so from the name itself we can guess like most probable producing ability probable you have the pro- like there is a probability means you are expecting something from the animal right animal's performance so we can come to the conclusion that like to define mppa the expected future performance of an animal has been refer- referred to its most probable producing ability the expected future performance an- of an animal during its lifetime example lactation wool production litter size etc the fourth number is number of records i'm sorry number of records required for a selection see if repeatability is less and i'm sorry for 
all this katakuti <laughs> actually this makes me to remember things easily you know that's why i used to do that if repeatability is less selection of an animal has to be based on more number of records example traits like carving interval has low repeatability therefore more number of re records will be required to determine cow's genetic potential but if repeatability is high example repeatability of milk fat percentage is very high therefore therefore a cow be cow can be selected on the basis of its fat percentage of the first lactation for genetic improvement thank you